Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel where we are teaching mathematics, preparing people for their exams, GCE, grade 12, internal, even grade 9. Okay, make sure that we keep glued to this channel so that we can write our exams in peace. Okay, so we are looking at uh, sets and um, under sets we are going to look at the number of elements. Uh, when we are given the number of elements in some set and also how do we find the number of elements in that particular set that has been given. Everything is given in the form of the number of elements, number of elements and number of elements. Okay, so here we have um, the four examples. Okay, we have these four examples that I want us to look at. So let's start with the first one. It's easier to use a Venn diagram here, even when they have not requested you, it's easier like that. So what are we supposed to do here? Let's let's come up with a, a Venn diagram for the first one. Okay. So we are told that the number of elements in set B should be 17. In the intersection of A and B should be 5. And then the union of the two sets okay, should be 29. Now, we have to start with uh, the intersection. In the intersection here, we should have 5 elements. Okay. Then from there, the number of elements in set B, set B alone, set B, should have... 17 elements. So you subtract this one from 12 because it's already part of B. The 5 is already part of B. So you subtract this from um, 17. Then you get 12 here. Alright? Now, when you look at this one, what we are having for the union of the two sets is 29. When you add these two plus what is here, it should add up to 29. So, all what we should do to find this part here, this is the clue that we have. All what we should do to find what is here, you need to add these two and subtract them from 29. What you get is what you are going to put here, and you discover that I think that will be 12. You get 12 even here. Alright? Then we get to find the answer now. How many elements are in A? That's the question. How many elements are in A? You look at set A as a whole. We have five, 12 and 5. So, the number of elements in set A, the number of elements in set A is 17. The number of elements in set A is 17. That is all for the first question. That is all for the first question. Um, okay, the second one, I think is the fact that is missing. Supposed to find the number, supposed to find the number of elements A union B. Complement. Oh yes, I left out that part. So let's come to B. The number of elements in the universal set, we have 16. In A, we have 5. In the intersection, we have. In B, we have 10. Then find the number of elements that are outside both sets. That's what we are told. And well, that is what we want. So I can also bring the same part, the same question here. Have our A and our B. Okay, A, B, the universal. So, we should start with the intersection. Our intersection is 3, which is common in both sets. Then we come to 5. 5 has how many elements? 5 should have, I mean, A. A should have 5 elements. Now, we already have 3 in A, so the 2 is what we are going to write there. Then B. B should have 10 elements. We already have what? 3. So 7 must be here. Okay? Then, when you read the question, we are told that the universal set, the universal set has 16 number of elements. So, you look at what we have here. You add all these, then subtract from 16. What will remain? You put it outside here. So, this is 10, 12. So, we have 4. All right, we have four. Now, we can come to answer this question. The number of elements that are in A union B, A union B complement, it means those elements that are not part of these two sets. And those elements, it's this four. Are we there? 
That is for question um, for question um, two. Let's look at question three. Let's look at question three. Okay. Question three. Allow me to put the Venn diagram here. A, B, so set. Okay. The number of elements in A we have 18, in B we have 14, in the intersection we have 16. Uh, those that are it's the same as this one. Meaning those elements that are outside the two. Elements that are not in the in any of these two sets, it's two. So the two must be outside there. That's what this means here. The intersection, the intersection, what do we have? Intersection we have who? six here. Then now we come to B. B should have 14 elements. And then, what do we have? Already we have six. So we have to subtract this one from six to get eight. A should have 18 elements. You subtract this one, the 12 from 18. What do you get? Uh, 6, I mean. 6 from 18, you get 12. Alright? Having done this, now we can come and answer the question. The union of A and B, the elements that are found in A and B, these are number of elements, remember? These are number of elements. These are number of elements. So, here... The number of elements in this set. Please, we are not listing. We are looking at the number of elements. So, we ought to add these. Yeah. So, this is 20, 26. We are looking at the union just. Okay? That is what is going to be our answer. There. That is what is going to be our answer for question uh, 16. That is what is going to be our answer for question 16. Uh, for question... Uh, Three. That is what is going to be our answer. Then we look at uh, the last question, which involves three sets. The universal set has uh, 30 elements. The intersection of all the three sets is 1, uh, A has 14, B has 11, uh, A has, uh, I mean, the C has 14. The intersection of A and B is 3. The intersection of B and C is 4. The intersection of A and D is uh, 5. This is, question is coming from the uh, grade 10 old textbook. So you can find it there. Then illustrate this information in a Venn diagram. Let me draw my Venn diagram here. I have my A, my B, my C, A, B, and C, the universal set, all right? So we look at, we start with the intersection. Let's pay attention. We start with the intersection of all the three sets. The intersection of the, all the three sets is what? It's one, which is this one here, okay? Then now we move, we come to this. This is what I was explaining on the other part, on the other lesson that we have. Then we come to these two sets now. So we can come to the intersection of um, the intersection of A and B. The intersection of A and B is this one. In the intersection of A and B, we are told we should have three elements. Now we already have one. So the remaining two is what we are going to put here. We move to the next one. The intersection of B and C should have four elements. Now we already have one. So 3 is going to be here. The intersection of A and C should have 5 elements. Now we already have 1. So here we're going to have 4. Okay? If you look, uh, we have exhausted this part. I've dealt with this one. We have also dealt with this one. Uh, this one. And this one. So we come to this set now. In set um, A, we should have 14 elements. In set A, we should have um, 14 elements. So you add what we have here, then subtract from 14, okay? So this gives us what? 7. So the 7 which is remaining, you write it here. We go to B. In set B, we should have how many elements? 11. So you add, this is 6. So 
5, which is the difference, must be here. Um, then uh, for C, we should have 14 elements. We already have 8 here. So what is the difference? 6 must be here. Are we together? Uh, then we look at... Uh, let's add this. Are they giving us... Uh, uh, 30 because the entire uh, universal set should give us 30 elements so if we can look at uh, this we add all these in 14 in a i mean in a in set a we have 14 elements 14 plus uh, 6 what do we get we get 20 20 plus 8 we get 28. So meaning we still have we need to have two here outside. So I have answered the first question. Illustrate this information in a Venn diagram. Alright? That is what is expected of us to do on the first one. So we can come to these questions now. We can answer these questions. So you know that the first one here, this first one is talking about the elements that are not in set A and B. Those elements that are outside A and B. A and B, it's these two here. A and B, it's this. So we need to get rid of all these elements here. Okay? What we are saying is that uh, A and D complement of these two. These two, everything here must be covered. So we're just going to remain with what? 6 and 2. 6 and 2. Those are the elements that are outside these two. Which is going to give us what? 8. Okay? Then, we come to this one. It is, it's the same as this one, the first part. So we look at the union of B. We have two sets here. B union C. Complement. Okay? B union C. B union C, okay, B union C complement, these ones, meaning what is outside B and C, it is what, 7 and 2, what is outside B and C, it is 7 and 2, but because we have the intersection A, what is outside these two sets but should be there in A, it is what, 7, it is in 7 here. That is what we are supposed to have for the second one. Alright? That's what we are supposed to have for the second one. Then we look at the last one. The, the, the first part is the same throughout. Um, so we look at those elements that are not in what? A and B. Those that are outside. You, you 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 realize that this one is the second as is the, I mean it's the same as the first part. Those elements that are not in these two sets, it's what six and two. Okay, six and two. And then plus. Now in this case we are getting union. It means everything that is in what that is in C. So we need to. Our answer here is going to be, what is outside these two sets? It's, if you want, you can say we have 6 and 2 for the first one. Then the second one is going to be the, the entire 6, what? C, which is all these elements here. So we have uh, 6 and this one, it gives us 10, then plus this one, 14. Now, we cannot add this 6 also because we have already added here. So you add this 2 to get 16. So the last one is going to be 16. The last one is going to be 16. These are the answers and this is what is expected of us to do. When we are, we are given such a question in the exam, when we are given such a question in the exam, this is what we are expected to, to do. Um, and I'm sure you won't have challenges with this. So um, I've got an exercise that you are supposed to try out. I copied it on a piece of paper. Let me see if I can just give you to capture the same exercise. All right? It's here. Uh, I hope you'll be able to see it. 
the exercise. This is what I want you to do. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Wait for another lesson.